Hey, what's up guys, Sal here and welcome back to the Tech Talk TV. We are entering the first phase of leaks for one of the world's most popular smartphone lines. This is right around the same time as we began to see the leaks for the Galaxy S8. The leak today includes a set of numbers that corresponds with firmware for the next set of Samsung devices. The folks at Sam Mobile have discovered two brand new firmware builds which have confirmed Samsung's progress on the project, while also likely confirmed confirming the build numbers for the Galaxy S9 lineup. As for those firmware build numbers, the first is such while the second build number is such. From the numbers, it has been deduced that the standard Galaxy S9 will have a model number of SMG960 while the S9 Plus will have a model number of SMG965. There's nothing super exciting here, but at least we know that firmware development is underway and hardware development shouldn't be too far behind if it's not already underway. It's also worth noting that last year, Samsung's firmware development for the Galaxy S8 began two weeks later. That means we could be seeing a slightly earlier launch for the Galaxy S9 next year. That's already been rumored to be the case with previous leaks suggesting that we would see a debut in February and a retail release very shortly thereafter. Aside from the revelation of these two Galaxy S9 models, it has also been reported that Samsung is working on a beefed up version of its Bixby personal assistant to be unveiled when the Galaxy S9 hits the stores. This software is still arguably lagging behind the Apple Siri alternative at present, but programmers and engineers at Samsung have been working diligently on rectifying the situation. Considering that there is an increased focus on the AI capability of mobile devices, with even smart speakers now appearing in homes regularly, it would be wise for Samsung to soap up Bixby. It's believed that Samsung is currently working on dedicated AI software in an attempt to improve Bixby and this will no doubt be greatly welcomed by Galaxy S9 consumers. So that said, it's still very early so we'll definitely be seeing a slew of different leaks and rumors between now and the Galaxy S9 launch. In the meantime, I'll cover each and every one of them. So subscribe for all the coverage and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.